working here for the past about two and a half months. I came from Ireland in November and I was found the country very welcoming and thoroughly enjoy the workplace here in New Zealand. And my reason for applying for this training course is to personally improve myself and work on my work ethic. Um, I find I have a lot of knowledge that I could give to people, but I don't have any idea whatsoever on how I could give it. I find myself to be a little disorganized, a bit of a joker, um, so a trainer position would be something that I would love to learn about because that would help me develop better personal skills and how I can portray what knowledge I have from my life experiences to other people. Okay, so my presentation today is about self-improvement and how people sell themselves and how I think people personally struggle with that. So when you're trying to improve your own self, you need to sit down and admit what you're doing wrong. And you need to identify these problems and you need to figure out how you're going to work on improving that. So say for myself, disorganized, how can I improve that? If you fail to, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So in that sense, you need to basically set yourself up for what, what you're going to do the following day and how you're going to go about that and what targets you're going to set yourself and especially in the workplace, in your personal life, in keeping yourself motivated. So I've wrote on the board here the, the three different types of learning. So you have hear, see and touch. So technically speaking is hear is auditory, see is visual and touch is, is a word I can't really pronounce. Um, Kinesthetic. Am I saying it right? Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic, yeah. So, in my opinion, no one needs to know them words. They don't, they're technical words. When you hear something, you listen. When you see something, you view it. You don't just see it, you view it. You take in everything that's there and then you perform it. So, that's hear, see, touch, listen, view, and perform. Every person takes all their different categories on how to learn something and what, how they're going to approach a challenge. Some people are better, they could just, they could listen to it, it goes in one ear and out the other. They could see it and go, Oof, what's that? When they do it, perfect. The other way around, it goes all different ways for each individual. Sometimes people can do all three, they just, that's what makes a genius, they just basically take to something each different time and they don't need to worry about what way they want to do it when they perform the tasks, like athletes for example, can be great at all different types of sports, so they can just take it like that. So I think, as I said, this is about self-improvement. The main reason why people struggle to improve themselves is they can't take criticism. They don't know how to admit that they have the problem in the first place. So you have to really be honest with yourself, and you, as a trainer, you would have to identify these problems with people and explain it to them in a way that's, you know, not insulting, not kind of demeaning, just something that you have to say, look, this is your problem. This is something that you have to work with me and with yourself to improve on. So people can understand how to improve themselves. So me personally, the reason why I want to do this, as I said, is I don't know anything about being a trainer. But I want to learn and I want to know. Because I think that as a person, my personality could be good in that environment, in that workplace. In a training room, I think I could really get to people and show how you can just work in a sales centre like this and have it naturally come to you. Just natural flow of conversation, just teach people how to operate in that sense. Not to be too technical about it, when you're selling something to someone, you listen to them and you work off them. That's how you sell. You don't speak for five minutes and then hope that they're just going to say yes. You need to work off the person and that's something that people need to learn. So in closing, I think that me personally, I want to improve my organization skills, I want to be able to take criticism, um, I want to be able to be more motivated and there are three things that I need to work on. So if I was given the opportunity to do this TAP course, I would definitely enjoy learning all these new things and I would take it very seriously and I would really enjoy doing it. So I hope you enjoyed that guys and just a little bit about myself in the background. What I came from was a customer service I did two years in banking and customer service. I did a year in supervising restaurants and I worked in a four star hotel or five star hotel for two and a half years previous throughout my youth. So a lot of experience dealing with all sorts of different types of people and I think that would be a great thing to bring to the table in meeting new people and helping, helping ye mould this company and bring in new people into this workplace. 
So how do you feel that five-star hotel experience is going to head to this profile? Um, to help people with common courtesy when speaking to someone on the phone. You know, even if they don't want to purchase what we're selling, when you're making a cold call and that person is speaking to you and you're saying we're not interested, it's still to represent Fairfax as a brand, as in Teletech as a company, and that's our client, we should show some common courtesy. Even if they're rude to us, as much as I would joke about what we would like to say, common courtesy is something that you basically provide for your client to keep a good reputation. You can't have people speaking ill of the client. That's what you're here to do, despite of how customers treat you as an individual. You represent a company. You're, you're a person representing a company. You're not your own person when you're speaking on the phone. You're speaking on behalf of a company. And I think that's something that people need to learn when they're in a situation like this because, and you're working for Teletech, which is basically a company that, you know, needs to work hard to keep our client happy. So we're representing two companies at once. So it is, I think that spending them four years at the weekends, going through college and just really gave me a humble view on how to approach people and how to speak to all different walks of life. So I found out when I was a supervisor in Eddie Rockets, in a busy downtown restaurant, I found I made a terrible supervisor. I was, I just, at the end of it all, the experience at nine months, the owner said, you're a great worker, all the staff loved you, funny man, but terrible supervisor, because I didn't have that control of my staff. I was too much, too busy worrying about being your friend, too busy worrying about, you know, oh, I don't want to shout at someone, I don't want to, you know, tell them what they're doing wrong, but it's actually what you really should be doing is telling them what they're doing wrong. And that's what I've learned, is telling people what they're doing wrong to help them improve themselves. So that's what a goal of a trainer is to do, is to tell people what they need to do to improve their work ethic, how they need to approach their job, and that's something that I want to learn because I think that would help me learn it. And then once I know how to reiterate that to a bunch of trainees, I find that as I've improved from somebody who has them issues, I think coming from that stage to improvement, I can bring that onto the table and help other people to improve their work ethic and to help them become good employees. So that was a bit about my past and just generally I like to have fun. I'm the type of person who likes to try and keep people motivated. I don't take myself too seriously but when the time comes I can do so and I like to enjoy myself in the workplace. That's a good thing but you still have to get the work done and it's a good place to have that frame of mind because you can enjoy yourself here and get the work done at the same time because it's a good atmosphere. Um, i just like to thank you all for the opportunity to give this presentation. Um, I didn't want to go on any PowerPoint presentations because you said that it's not about how good of a trainer you can make, it's about yourself. It's about what I think that I can bring to the table in this training course. And I think that honesty about how I need to improve is something, is why I want to do it. It's because it's an opportunity for me to improve in the long term to help other people improve. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.